New this morning, investigators have now identified the suspect in that standoff on the East Freeway. Yeah, it's gnarled traffic for hours yesterday. We were just in a standstill for like three hours. I got some, I had places to be and stuff to do. I didn't have time to be sending no traffic for no three hours. I don't know what was going on. I don't know if it was an exposure down here because this is the capital of exposing all this stuff. Now, Sky I-13 was over that dramatic scene, capturing the moment SWAT went in with heavy machinery and a canine. All the while, authorities say that driver was refusing to get out. ABC 13's Charlie Edsidy joined us live just outside downtown with more information about the alleged driver. Charlie, what can you tell us? Good morning to you, Brianna. Well, we know that the suspect here, the driver identified as Trinidad Cutshell, did have some injuries to his face as a result of this confrontation with law enforcement. So according to HCSO, he is hospitalized, getting some treatment, and presumably as soon as he is released from the hospital, he will be brought here downtown to the HCSO jail. And so it was just a dramatic and very tense scene out there on the East Freeway for several hours as this was all playing out. So the suspect who will be charged with felony evading was behind the wheel of a semi truck that was apparently stopped right in the middle of the East Freeway. That's what really got uh, people's attention. So when law enforcement tried to approach the suspect and ask him to move, he then apparently took off leading police on a slow pursuit. Well, the semi finally stopped on the side of the freeway and the suspect remained inside of the vehicle for about two more hours. HCSO SWAT then moved in, landing a helicopter on the freeway and even using some heavy machinery to tear apart the passenger side of that 18 wheeler. So all of this was happening as the suspect just sat in the driver's seat. And so investigators think that he may have been intoxicated and a canine was finally able to take the suspect into custody. Sheriff Ed Gonzalez said that every precaution had to be taken in this situation in order to keep nearby drivers safe. We don't know if he's armed. He could have a long rifle or serious firepower in there that we just don't know about. So we've got to consider all things at this point. And no cargo was found inside of that semi truck. And this morning we're still waiting on more details about when the suspect will be going before a judge. Charlie Edsidy, ABC 13 Eyewitness News. Charlie, thanks.